Casimpta, also known as Ofatumumab, is a prescription medication used to treat relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis, including clinically isolated syndrome, relapsing remitting MS, and active secondary progressive MS. It is a monoclonal antibody that targets CD20, a protein found on the surface of B cells, which play a role in the immune system's attack on the nervous system in MS. By depleting these B cells, Kesimpta helps reduce disease activity, prevent relapses, and slow the progression of disability associated with MS. As a self-administered once-monthly injection, Kesimpta offers a convenient alternative to traditional infusion therapies, allowing patients more flexibility in their treatment. One of the key benefits of Kesimpta is its targeted action against B cells, which have been implicated in the inflammatory processes that drive MS progression. Unlike some older MS treatments that broadly suppress the immune system, Kesimpta specifically depletes B cells while allowing other parts of the immune system to function normally. This targeted approach reduces the likelihood of infections and other complications associated with general immunosuppression. Studies have shown that Kesimpta significantly reduces relapse rates, brain lesion activity, and overall disease progression, making it an effective choice for many patients. Another advantage of Kesimpta is its convenient at-home administration. Many disease-modifying therapies for MS require frequent hospital visits for infusions, which can be time-consuming and burdensome. Kesimpta is administered as a subcutaneous injection once a month after an initial loading dose schedule. This allows patients to maintain their treatment without the need for regular hospital visits, providing more freedom and better adherence to therapy. The auto-injector device used for administration is designed to be user-friendly, making it easier for patients to self-inject with minimal discomfort. Like all medications, Kesimpta comes with potential risks and side effects that need to be considered. The most common side effects include injection site reactions such as redness, swelling or pain. These reactions are generally mild to moderate and improve over time as the body adjusts to the medication. Another potential risk is an increased susceptibility to infections due to B cell depletion. While Kesimpta is more selective in its immune suppression, it can still leave patients vulnerable to upper respiratory infections and other common illnesses. Patients should be monitored for signs of infection and take precautions such as vaccinations and good hygiene practices to reduce their risk. Serious side effects, though rare, can include reactivation of hepatitis B in patients who are carriers of the virus. Before starting Kesimpta, patients should undergo screening for hepatitis B to ensure it is safe for them to take the medication. Another risk is progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, or PML, a rare but serious brain infection associated with some immunosuppressive therapies. Although the risk of PML with Kesimpta appears to be low, doctors and patients should be aware of the symptoms, including confusion, vision changes, and weakness, and report any unusual neurological symptoms immediately. Kesimpta is also not recommended for use in patients with active infections or severely weakened immune systems. If a patient develops a serious infection while taking Kesimpta, their doctor may temporarily pause treatment to allow the immune system to recover. Patients should also be cautious about receiving live vaccines while on Kesimpta, as their immune response may be diminished. It is generally advised to complete any necessary vaccinations before starting treatment. Another consideration when taking Kesimpta is its impact on pregnancy and breastfeeding. There is limited data on the effects of Kesimpta during pregnancy, but since it depletes B cells, it could affect the developing immune system of a fetus. Women who are pregnant or planning to become pregnant should discuss the risks and benefits with their healthcare provider. Breastfeeding while on Kesimpta is also not well studied, so a doctor's guidance is necessary to determine the best course of action for mothers who wish to nurse their infants. Kesimpta is part of a growing trend in MS treatment that focuses on early and aggressive intervention to slow disease progression. Research has shown that starting highly effective treatments early in the disease course can lead to better long-term outcomes, reducing disability accumulation, and preserving quality of life. By providing a targeted high-efficacy option with a convenient dosing schedule, Kesimpta is helping to reshape the way MS is managed. 
Patients considering Kazimta should work closely with their neurologist to determine if it is the right treatment for them. Factors such as medical history, prior MS treatments, and individual health considerations should all be taken into account. Regular monitoring through blood tests and MRI scans can help track treatment effectiveness and detect any potential complications early. Overall, Casimpta represents an important advancement in MS therapy by offering a balance between efficacy, safety, and convenience. While it is not a cure for MS, it helps control disease activity, reducing the frequency of relapses and slowing progression. With its targeted mechanism of action and at-home administration, it provides a valuable option for many patients looking to manage their condition effectively. However, as with any treatment, understanding the potential risks and working closely with a healthcare provider is essential to achieving the best possible outcomes.